Hey, what's going on, guys? John Hack here for Think About Comics, joined by Boy Wayne Bethay. Today, we're going to be talking about Philadelphia issue six from Image Comics. Yes. By Rodney Jones and Jason Alexander. What'd you think, B? All right, so off the bat, it was wonderful. I love the imagery. I love the fact that, hey, not only are we dealing with pretty much a vampire plague, but understanding the relativity of the heroes in this father son combination, with I think my man's name is Jesse who is actually kid with powers that is actually helping in a indirect way, but then ultimately the direct way in bringing down John Adams. Okay. I think the, the cool thing about this is understanding that you can't have this plague last for eternity. Yeah. You can't have uh, vampires, uh, reshaping landscape if you truly want a better society. As brought up in this title, we're not only talking about the ramifications of what vampires have done to not only this family, but to the families across the city, but we're talking about what ultimately is change. And what's a good means to making people change who they are and making people aware of the people around them and trying to make things better if bad things don't happen. Yeah. And I think um, it's well brought together, well put together in the storyline as far as the police involvement, as far as the community's involvement, as far as just the vampires that are aware of what this situation is. And I, I, I loved it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think I think this was a really good book. Uh, this is one of the, this is the uh, you know the culminating event in the first storyline. Yeah. Uh, all the all the pieces are on the are on the board yeah. ready to go. Um, I really like how this story is able to capture the idea that hey, look, you have so many things like you like you were saying that that need fixed. Yes, and by the end of the, at the beginning of the book, they're not fixed. Yep. And it, the the beginning of the book paints a very dark picture of, of Philadelphia. Yep. You have a father and son who really don't care about each other, don't love each other. He, the father dies, don't care about him. But at the end of the book, like you said, everybody's working together. Everybody's oh, yeah. on the same page. He now buries his his dad again, yes. but he's he I, I I think he's come to terms with his dad. Mm-hmm. He's able to to let go and and be happy and go live his life. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The, yeah. the action in this book. Amazing. Um, one of the things I thought that this was just going to be a mini series, uh-huh. the way it started out. Yeah, it's obviously not. It's it's yeah. coming on, and I, it's it's coming out again next month. I think it's going to be interesting because now you have Abigail, mm-hmm. uh, the first lady. She's gonna she now is going to be taking over, and we see really in this book in the past issue where she kind of has her own hidden agendas. And yes. she wants them. She felt that she could always be better than Adams. Yes. And that the first lady role wasn't for her. It was just like, you know, you're following the guy who's yeah. going throughout the world. You're just there behind him. You have no position of power. You have no say. You're just a, a, an ornament yes. to what he does. And I'm really anxious to see, you know, what she does. I think she's going to go, you know, balls out and just kill as many people as she can. I think she's going to set a new precedent on what it what she wants to do but i also really like what you said where they're like hey look we can't have this vampire world be the be the new world no, yep. order um because like what in what part of this book do they look happy like every yeah, yeah. every yeah. vampire they show has yeah. so much baggage with mm-hmm. them from their life yeah. we see that with the two sisters yeah. we see that um just with john adams like he wants this this new world but he's got so much hate and resent and regret and um uh, regret with him yeah. as he lived through all these years yeah um i i just i really like this book um i see this could they could do so much with this book i don't see it ending uh, anytime soon it was really good really well written it's like a it's like a a more adult uh grounded version of buffy the vampire slayer yes that's like the best way i could describe it i would put it uh not just buffy the vampire slayer but I would even go to uh, Salem's Lot. Okay. I would say it's a merger too because a lot of things were pent up in Salem's Lot about you know constructing a community and trying, yeah. to, but yet you still got that issue. You still got that innate problem of somebody on the team wants more. 
you are trying to build a vision. The vision isn't coming together. There's not a, uh, how can I say, a governing body that's there to help you construct certain things. If you got this idea and you are pushing the agenda, then it's your agenda. Whereas if I have a a court, if I have a Congress, if I have a damn, we're talking about these are the things that we need to develop to make you know the vampire world a great yeah. world for change. It just it just shows you the human element. It shows you the human element, and and, and it's beautiful. Right? Do you think that since they've defeated the majority of the vampires in in the city, I'm sure I'm certain that in other cities mm-hmm. there's other frac- factions yeah. and other oh, yeah. things. Do you think that they're going to inter- introduce like other, you know, folktale monsters like maybe werewolves or something to that nature? I think, yeah. Once you, uh, I think, especially in a in a comic book like this, mm-hmm. where it just showed you a speck of how quickly things can change. Yes, if you were bringing in a dark universe, you're going to bring in the werewolves. You're going to bring in the ghouls. You're going to bring in all of it. Yeah, and I definitely think in the next storyline. It really opens the door for that because yeah. the main uh, f- faction that has ruled over Philadelphia is now gone. Yeah. So, it, it, you know, the, the seat at the table is now open, open for yep. whoever wants it. There we go. Um, overall, guys, me and P both love this series. Definitely. This book is fantastic. If you're not reading it, um, check it out. I know that these issues have sold out pretty well. I was looking oh, online. Yeah. They just dropped volume one. Uh, you can pick that up at your local shops, online, or whatever. This is definitely worth the read. It's a really fun book. The art uh, is really dark. A lot of imagery. It's it. The art is made to to make you feel like it's a realistic oh, yeah. take oh, yeah. on a society. It's it's gritty, man. It is yeah. it's real gritty. So yeah, you, the art depicts that totally. Exactly. Yeah. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for the review. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Uh, hit us up in the comments section. Yeah, and yeah. you know, we always try to do our best to get you guys back in the comments. We like yeah. having a conversation. Right. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Peace.